Hello there, my name is Richard from Silent Peak and a very warm welcome to this video. Today we are discussing the best photo editing applications that you can buy in 2025. So let's start with the best photo editing studio overall, which is Adobe's Lightroom. Now, Adobe's Lightroom is somewhat unusual in the sense that it doesn't do any one thing really better than anything else. However, it does most things that we need most of the time extremely well. Lightroom is an excellent option for beginners thanks to its absurd quantity of attractive presets, and experts will appreciate its more advanced tools and labor saves, such as automatic subject masking. Lightroom includes one of the best noise reduction tools I've used, and also includes super resolution, a mid-tier AI-powered upscaler tool. There's also a new beta edition of their background blur tool, as well as some generative AI-powered erase brushes. Lightroom's well-rounded photo editing capabilities are paired with one of the best photo management feature sets. Lightroom's cloud integration allows you to access and edit your photos via most internet connected computers and smart devices, thus making it an absolute breeze to share your images with family, friends and clients. However, Lightroom isn't for everyone. Specifically, Lightroom is subscription only, meaning that you will pay at least $9.99 a month for Lightroom and one terabyte of storage for as long as you intend to use the application. That being said, $9.99 isn't a bad price considering that the going rate for one terabyte of cloud storage is about $5 in its own right. Thus, if you are already interested in the benefits the cloud can offer you, Lightroom starts to look like a bit of a bargain. But if you don't want or need the benefits the cloud offers, Lightroom begins to look expensive, particularly when you consider they are equally capable photo editing applications out there that you can buy and own outright. Now the award for best value photo editing applications goes to both ACDC Professional and ACDC Ultimate. ACDC Ultimate combines best in class photo management with my all time favorite raw editing mode. Amazingly, you can own all of it for a one time payment of $149, making ACDC Ultimate one of photography's biggest bargain. Therefore, it is a shame that ACDC Ultimate and Professional make such a bad first impression. ACDC's Ultimate's densely populated interface is unwelcoming and likely to turn newcomers away. Yet those who decide to stick around and ascend ACDC's moderately steep but brief learning curve will realize it is exceptionally good to use. Ultimate's photo management includes both face and object detection, meaning you are able to browse your images by those and those things that appear in your photos. Moreover, you can geotag your photos with ACDC's map view and trade images between your library and smartphone using the ACDC iOS and Android app. Subscribers can also host their images in the cloud and share their photos via common web browsers. Meanwhile, ACDC's develop mode often draws comparisons with Lightroom's, but you may actually find it to be better still. You can create presets for your edits and separate presets for each adjustment, enabling you to save your favorite sharpening settings and tone curves. Ultimate heavily leverages targeted adjustments, allowing you to adjust color, light, and contrast by interacting with the image rather than dragging sliders. This results in a high speed, intuitive, and tactile photo editing experience. ACDC Ultimate features two different photo editing applications, the aforementioned develop tab and the layer based editing mode. Here you can apply your adjustments in layers, blend them and create compound effects beyond the reach of non layer based photo editing applications. You can also remove backgrounds, insert text layers and draw shapes. There is also Face AI, ACDC's outstanding portrait enhancement tool. Alternatively, you may also consider ACDC Professional. ACDC Professional offers almost everything that ACDC Ultimate does, except it lacks the rather outstanding Face AI portrait enhancement mode, the rather iffy sky replacement tool, and also the layer-based photo editing. 
but critically, ACDC Professional just costs 99 of your US dollars, making it one of photography's biggest bargains. Overall, both ACDC Ultimate and Professional are outstanding all-in-one photo management and editing studios and make a great subscription-free alternative to Adobe's Lightroom. Next, let's talk about the best photo editing application for beginners, Luminar Neo. So Luminar Neo's philosophy is to dissolve once complex photo editing tasks into single one-click tricks. To that end, Neo is packed with simple, straight-to-the-point effects-orientated tools such as Sky Enhance, Golden Hour Glow and Foliage Enhancer. Alternatively, you can avoid editing entirely and choose one of Luminar Neo's many presets. Nevertheless, as simple as Luminar Neo is, it would be a mistake to consider it a low-brow beginners-only tool. On the contrary, Luminar Neo is extremely capable and includes all of the traditional photo editing tools found elsewhere. Yet Luminar Neo supplements these familiar tools with a generous array of AI-powered super tools that swap skies, blur and remove backgrounds, smooth skin and relight portraits. It isn't easy to think of a photo editing application with a more exciting feature set than Luminar Neo. But Luminar Neo isn't perfect. Its photo management feature set is functional, but lacks now commonplace features such as keyword tagging, geotagging, and face recognition. Second, Luminar Neo can slow under the weight of its AI-powered smarts, making it less responsive than some traditional photo editing applications. That being said, slower or not, thanks to all of its automated features, you may still find Luminar Neo the fastest way to get the job done. So let's move on to DxO Photo Lab 8, the best photo editing application for image quality. So DxO Photo Lab 8 automates outstanding image quality thanks to two standout features. The first is DxO's optics modules, which are tailor-made to overcome the characteristic flaws specific to your camera lens combination. For instance, there is an optics module for an OM-1 paired with a 25mm f1.8, and another for enhancing and correcting pictures taken with a D750 and a 50mm. The byproduct is a highly targeted and bespoke raw conversion, resulting in superior image quality the moment you open your photo. The second feature that makes DxO Photo Lab 8 so special for image quality is Deep Prime. As my previous videos have demonstrated, Deep Prime is just about as good as noise reduction gets. When you combine DxO's optic modules with Deep Prime, it's almost like applying a sensor or lens upgrade to the photos that you have already taken. Moreover, DxO Photo Labs 8 interface is attractive, logical, hyper-responsive, and packed with the usual photo editing adjustments. Automated tools such as DxO Smart Light and Clearview help accelerate and ease the editing process. DxO's control point system offers a novel alternative alternative to AI masking. While Photolab 8 interface is well responsive and logical enough, it does require some expertise, thus making DxO Photolab 8 a difficult choice for beginners. Also, Photolab 8's non-existent photo management features might just be enough to send you in the direction of ACDC or Lightroom instead. Overall, DxO Photolab 8 allows you to take optimum image quality for granted. Therefore, if you crave precision over labour-saving super effects, you will enjoy DxO Photo Lab 8. Finally, we are going to talk about On One Photo Raw 2025, the best photo editing application for features. For just 99 US dollars, you get focus stacking, HDR, a portrait enhancer, AI noise reduction, AI sharpening, AI upscaling, object recognition powered masking, geotagging, a mobile app, a panorama stitching tool, effects layers, AI adaptive 
active presets, sky replacement tool, remote camera firing, time lapse, and AI powered keyword. So that's quite a feature set, but what's remarkable is just how good some of these features are in isolation. For instance, No Noise AI is one of the best noise reduction tools I have tested, and I adore Photo Raw's effects layers and how they integrate with Super Select AI on one's AI object masking. In contrast, other tools such as the Resize AI Upscaler have fallen behind the best in class, but the fact that they are all present in this one application for just 99 US dollars shouldn't be taken for granted. Unfortunately, on one Photo Raw's densely populated interface and non-linear workflow don't make a great impression when you first boot up on one Photo Raw and is particularly unforgiving towards beginners. However, stick around and you will find on one Photo Raw's complexity its most significant asset as you realize the layer-based Photo Raw is vastly more capable than it first appears and can produce results beyond the reach of Lightroom and other non-layer based applications. Nonetheless, on one photo raw may be more than you need. And in that case, you might prefer to trade on one photo raw's potential for a simplified photo editing experience. But if you want a relatively affordable feature jammed photo editing application that you can grow into, on one photo raw 2025 is well worth a look. Now I would like to close this list off with some honorable mentions. Now Photoshop is by far the most capable photo editing applications on the planet. However, its price and complexity is far more than most photographers required. In other words, you can do most of the things with much cheaper and simpler applications. Finally, I would like to mention Capture One Pro. Now Capture One Pro is an outstanding photo editing application but the more I look at it I cannot really understand why it is so expensive. Now this isn't to say that Capture One Pro isn't very good or lacking in any particular area it's just that the other photo editing applications I've mentioned earlier seem to do much what Capture One Pro does but for far less money. So if you would like to learn any more about photo editing applications, do drop by my best of lists over at silentpeakphoto.com. There you can browse our store, download some free software trials, and also subscribe to my newsletter so I can let you know when any of this software comes on sale. I hope you found this list useful or at least enjoyable. My name is Richard from Silent Peak, and I wish you a very good day. Bye-bye.